Jakarta might not seem to be the best place to do a walking tour. But bear with me, because what it lacks in sidewalks, it compensates with the history and a lot of interesting sights. This is my friend Fari, founder of Jakarta Good Guide and a great one too. That morning, a few random people gathered in front of Jatinegara train station and were interested to explore the area. This is Rita, the guide of my group. Turns out that Jatinegara is connected to my love for Banda Neira of Maluku Islands. The area was once dominantly owned by Cornelis Meister. Eh, hey, Indah Indah, who Hi. is Cornelis Meister? A rich guy from Banda. That's it? Maluku. It's just yeah. a rich guy? Rich guy. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> So this morning, me and Indah we are at Jatinegara and we are following a walking tour by Jakarta Good Guy. Yay! Um, just stopped in two places and it's been smelling like pee everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why. This is the smell of authenticity. You yeah, whatever. <laughs> Guys, do not pee everywhere. It's disgusting. Smell. It's authenticity. Jatinegara's train station is one of the colonial remains. It still functions as a train station till today. After the train station, the tour interestingly continued into the small neighborhood alleys. For me, was this area used to be called Rawa Bangke, which means a swamp of uh, cadavers. But because it was politically incorrect, it was changed into Rawa Bunga, or swamp of flowers. They said that a lot of dead people were thrown away here. I kind of like the original name. It's haunted, mysterious, and kind of emo. There were a lot of things that were shown to us during the tour. I personally liked this route because we had to walk within the alleys and were close to the landmarks and the people. This is one of the best traits of a walking tour. The area had a lot of facts and history, which I didn't record because I was too busy listening to the tour, of course. But I think I'd leave more of that to the guides. Famous Siliwong River. So, if you've seen some news about Jakarta flooded, this is one of the rivers that is re usually severely flooded up. So, the water can reach up, up to the wall, this wall right here, and that's pretty high. Usually, when that happens, the whole area is dead and it, there is a need for immediate evacuation. But it's always been like that since God knows when. The question is why do people still stay here? What's ironic is that because Jakarta might lack of free entertainment, this river becomes a place for people to hang out and relax. And in fact, across from them are people suffering from the flood. Riverside are not always really steep. Jakarta Bukit itu adalah kita Jakarta Walking Tour. Jakarta Walking Tour ya. Kita punya enam rute. Kita ada rutenya City Center, ada 
rutenya lagi Olsen, ada Chinatown, Menteng, Cikini, dan Pasar Baru. Nama saya Rita, saya salah satu dari tour guide yang ada di Jakarta Good Gate. Yeah. Satu-satunya wanita. Oh, bye. So, what did you think of the tour? Mm, I kind of like it, but I expect something more. More what? More unique. Because the information I can Google it from Google. <laughs> Very smart sentence. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Would you do it? Would you take another uh, route? Jakarta. Did you like meeting Parit? <laughs> <laughs> so that's about it for our walking tour today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, our little walk around Jatinegara. Turns out that Jatinegara has a lot of history and I didn't know about that. I was quite suspicious because there's a lot of old buildings there but never knew the history and nobody told me. If you, if you want to know about Jatinegara, you can check out their schedule and we'll link their site and um, social media below. On the review wise, my guide, Marita, she was very informative. She gave me a lot of dates, which I can't remember, of course. She gave me a lot of information. Um, she wasn't very trivial, but I guess that's preference. Um, she probably didn't know what I like anyway, so I'm not that special. But yeah, um, it wasn't good. She was a great guide to kill uh, two to three hours around Jatinegara. Um, if you want to spend some time in Jakarta, learn a little more about the city that people hate so much but turns out to be the place where people live, so many people live here, you can follow their uh, tours, uh, you can check out their website and or give them a shout out and we'll link it all below. In the meantime, I need to get a shower, I smell awful. And um, yeah, and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to comment uh, if you like or dislike our video because we really, really, really like feedback. So I'll see you guys later. I'm smelling really bad in another video. Bye.